One of the strategies you constantly hear from digital marketing experts is the importance of testing your websites, your landing pages, and everything else that you do online. While there are methods that we can use to research what prospects and customers are looking for, it's impossible to predict the exact right words, phrases, and images to use on our website for the best results. So this is where testing comes into play. You can test the headline. Which headline is producing the best result for your website? Which image is going to produce the best results for your website? That's another thing that you want to test. You can test the offers, test one offer versus another. And we pay a lot of attention to testing, but I found working with clients, very few clients are actually testing their websites. And when I can convince them as, as their coach to get them testing, we often find some amazing results. Just this past week, for example, one of my clients found in testing that he's testing multiple different traffic sources, and we tested headlines across his different pages. We tested three different headlines. And we found that one headline was producing by far the best for several of the traffic sources, but a totally different headline worked better for one of the traffic sources. And we would have never known that without the testing. We're talking some dramatic differences in the results we're getting just by knowing which headline we want to use for which traffic source. So not only do we have to test the landing page itself, but you have to test the landing pages across different traffic sources. One of the reasons that people talk a lot about testing, but they don't really do a whole lot of it is because there's so many tools out there, it goes back to that overwhelm again. We're overwhelmed by all the different tools that you can use. There are dozens of tools out there, and there's dozens of good tools that you can do. Split testing or multivariate testing, there's a lot of different types of testing. On this video, I'm just going to quickly show you a free way to do split testing on your website, get it set up quickly, and get it running so you can start testing. Because that's what I want for you, is I want you to start testing. After you've started, then you can move up to other types of tools. You can use multivariate testing to find more results faster on your website, test multiple things at one time. We're going to do simple split testing. When you do a simple split test, you really only want to test one primary variable at a time. So you might test one headline on one website and a different headline on the other. Now the tool we're going to use to test for free is is Google Analytics. You probably already have Google Analytics installed on your website, but did you know that they allow you to do split test experiments built in again for free? So let's go over and let's do this. Now the first step is when you're testing using Google Analytics is you're going to have to set up a goal on Google Analytics first. So if you don't have any goals set up, that's the first step we're going to take. And I'm just going to set up a simple goal here. Where do you find the goals here? You'll find this inside the administration section. You go over here to the right and you'll see goals. Okay, so we see we don't have any goals set up on this domain yet. So I'm going to set up a new goal. I'm going to call this goal the new opt in lead. So what I'll be testing here is I'll be testing which one of my opt in pages produces the best results and gets more opt ins for my list. So we're going to do a new opt-in lead. We're going to make this a really simple goal and test. So I'm going to do a destination, which means I'm going to have my specific page that people land on after they subscribe. So the page I'm looking for here is the web page URL after someone subscribes. And I have it saved up here, so I can just grab it. I just want to do the text after someone subscribes. So you don't need the whole domain when you copy this. You just want to grab the actual page after the domain name. So I'm going to put it in here. I, we can assign a monetary value to the conversion. You might assign this if you know how much you earn per subscriber. But in this case, I'm not actually selling anything when they opt in. If we were running, for example, a product sale here, and this was a product thank you page, we could set a value for it. We can also spe specify a path. For example, we might set up a goal where the first goal, somebody opts into our list. The second goal, they purchase a product. The third goal might be a second product upsell that you have. But for this case, we're going to keep it really simple. So we're going to create the goal. All right, so we have the goal here. No conversions over the past seven days because I have just setting it up right now. So now that we have the goal set up, we're going to go over and we're going to set up an experiment in analytics. That's where you're going to find the split testing is in the section called experiments. To get to the experiment section and set up the next piece, we're going to go up here to reporting. We're going to click on reporting. And we're going to go over here under behavior, so you can see under behavior, and we're going to go to the experiments section. Okay, you can see right now we haven't created any experiments in this analytics account, so I'm going to set up an experiment. For the name of this experiment, I'm just going to split test sample 
landing pages. In this case, I'm going to split test two different landing page styles. So I'm actually going to be using the same headline on these two landing pages I'm going to test, but they're going to be two different styles of landing pages. We're going to set the objective. We're going to have goal set one, new opt-in lead. So this is the goal that we just created. So this is so in this split test, they're going to be going to that thank you page no matter which of the pages they log in from. Now we can set how much of the traffic to experiment with. So let's say that you have a website that you're already producing good results from, it's already making you money, it's already generating leads, and you don't want to risk all your traffic on the test. Well, you can set a smaller percentage. For example, you could set that you only want 10% of the traffic to go into the test. Now you would only do this if you have a lot of traffic at your site. So in this case, we're just going to set it at 100% because we don't have any idea. We don't have a control at this point. We don't know which one's going to produce better. So we're going to test on all the traffic. So we're going to go, and you notice there's also advanced options here. We're not going to get into those right now. We're going to go to the next step. All right, so the original page and the variation that we're going to test. And you notice we can add additional variations. So we could test, for example, since I'm going to test the design on these two opt-in pages, I could test three or four different pages if I wanted to by adding additional variations down here. But in this case, we're just going to keep it real simple. So we're going to go up and grab our two pages. I have them already set. This will be page number one. We'll put it in here. And you see you can have the original. And it's going to load us a little preview to make sure we get the right one. And then I'm going to grab the second page. And I'll put that in here. Okay, so that's the second page. And you can title these whatever you want. I'm just going to call this Design 1. And I'll call this Design 2. Okay, then we're going to go to the next step. And we have to now insert code onto our website. I'm going to manually insert the code myself. Okay, here's the tracking code. And you'll notice that it says that you, your original and variation pages must have the Google Analytics tracking code installed. So I didn't show you that throughout the steps. This is true for your goals. This is true for setting up an experience. And you already need to have the Google Analytics code installed on your site. In this case, we're going to take this code, and it needs to be installed on top of our pages. And you notice it's after the opening head tag on the top of your original page. So I'm going to copy this code right here. And I'm going to go to my original page, and I'm going to edit the page. I'm using Optimize Press for my site, so it's actually going to bring in the Optimize Press feed Live Editor is where I'm going to go to add the code in. I'll show in a second how you would do this on a straight HTML page also. With Optimize Press, I'll go over to Page Settings. I'm going to choose Other Scripts. And you see I already have some codes in here installed. For this one, I'm going to, so I'm going to add a new code and I'm going to put it in the header. So I'll paste the code right here. Okay, and then I'm going to update the page. What if you use a different tool to set up your websites? Well, the key here is that we want to install this code after the opening head tag at the top of your original page. So I'm going to pull up Dreamweaver here, and this is just a basic HTML page in Dreamweaver. I'll switch over to the code section, and I'm going to look for the head tag. See, right here is the head tag. So I need to install it after the head tag. So I would simply paste the code in right here. And you can see it says analytics experiment code. I would then save my page. And in this case, I would need to save it and then upload it to the site. You'll notice that there's no actual change to the page itself. It's just a code, code in the background. So that's how you do it in this type of setup in a basic HTML design, basic, basic HTML coding. So now that I've installed the code on my original page, the one that we're going to be testing and sending the traffic to. We're going to hit the next step. And is our code there? Experiment code found. Code Google Analytics code found. Google Analytics code found. And now it knows I can add any notes that I want for the experiment, and I can start the experiment. You're going to start seeing data in one to two days, it says after this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come back here. Right now, obviously, we don't have any stats here because we just set it up. But we'll be able to come back here, and it'll show us the stats. And it's even going to tell us over time the probability of the new page to beat the original page. So that's an easy way to set up your split testing. You can test headlines like this. You can test designs of pages like I'm doing here. You can test images on your page. You can test different order buttons. There's a lot of different ways you can test. In this test, I'm just keeping it really simple. And I'm split testing an opt-in page. You could split test a sales page, a sales video, whatever else that you want to test. You just set up a separate page for each of the pages you want to test, making sure that each of them has whatever difference on it that you want to test. You need to have the thank you page that people go to after they opt in. And as you saw, there's other ways to set up goals 
Just having a thank you page like I set up is one of the easiest ways to set it up. And of course, you need the Google Analytics code installed across all of your pages to run the experiment. Now, if I wanted to start this experiment and start sending traffic, all I need to do is I need to start sending traffic to this page. So the first page that I set up, the traffic would be going, I don't actually need this part of the code, I would only need this part of the website. And I'd send traffic here. Once I finish this test, I find what wins, I can then turn off this test and I can start another test of the page against other websites. So that's a quick, easy, and free way that you can get started with simple split testing on your website.